Hey guys, how's it going? So we're gonna do a mail time video today and it's going to be a big one. I think that we have more stuff here than we've ever had before. The last mail time video took me a little over three hours to film and I know I don't have that much light left today. <laughs> Sun's already kind of starting to go down. So I'm gonna jump in and see how much we can get done. This video might come in two different installments for you guys. Uh, but I did wanna also let you know, this is going to be the last mail time before Christmas. And then after Christmas, we'll probably do one more between then and when baby girl arrives. After that, I think we may readdress the whole mail time video. I'm not sure what it's gonna look like, uh, but I just wanted to get, give you guys a heads up that it may look a little bit different. We might do them less frequently. Um, and so forth. So anyway, I think we should just jump right in with this one. This one came from New York. Oh, it is marked perishable on the outside. Also, did I mention it's 43 degrees today and tomorrow we're supposed to get three to four inches of snow. Oh, oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful. A vintage tea towel. Look at that. Oh my all the beautiful flowers. And this must be what's perishable. Oh no. Oh yes, there is an air plant in here. <laughs> right there. And, oh nice, a nutcracker. This one's called Tilly. Tilly Nutcracker Sweet. Thank you, Susan. Oh, I bet this air plant's gonna be happy to be out of its little tin from Lana in Nebraska. Children are the hands by which we take hold of heaven. Henry Ward Beecher. <laughs> I think I've seen this before. I'm not tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. I think my pregnancy insomnia is actually preparing me for this new baby's arrival. And I was just telling Erin today that I'm so happy that, I, it, I don't know, there's a different feeling surrounding having your second one because there's so many questions that have been answered by having your first one. And now I know that everything is just a season. Nothing lasts forever. And I know that that tired stage, the infancy stage, it doesn't last forever. It doesn't last for very long at all. Um, so I'm tr trying to hold on to that. <laughs> oh, cute. <laughs> and Erin and Laura production. Lana, thank you. From Melissa in Ontario, Canada. Ooh, a classical Christmas CD. Classical guitar and guitar and flute. Oh, she and her husband created this CD. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Melissa. From Gail in Calgary, Canada. Ooh, your zone three, Gail. Ooh, that's cold. So she has made us some masks, nice and bright. And then there's some coloring pages for us to enjoy, which is always fun. I think when uh, Benjamin and I get coloring stuff out, I think I enjoy it as much as he does. Something therapeutic about that. Thank you, Gail. From Robin in California. <laughs> really. Okay, so first off, she has sent me some seeds of some agapanthus that she has in her own garden, which is exciting. Agapanthus for me, let me explain. I know that for some of you guys, like it's a weed and it grows everywhere and you find it like in parking lot, like uh, mall parking lot flower beds. For us, it's like you have a really hard time getting it to grow and winter over. It's kind of like rosemary. We can't uh, plant rosemary outside. It'll die during the course of a winter. Um, so I've had agapanthus for the last two years. It came back for me after last winter. And if this winter keeps going the way it's going, I think they'll come back again for me, which is really exciting. But to start a couple more will be really nice. And then she sent us some snowflake ornaments that her daughter made. Get them closer so you can see. Aren't those beautiful? One more. Thank you, Robin. Oh, this one's got some weight to it. This is from Australia. Whoa, from Darshan. Oh, there's the card right there. Okay. Oh, 
fun. Edward the emu. We had emus in the pasture next to us growing up. They look like the most prehistoric birds I've about ever seen. Diary of a wombat. Oh, come on. Possum magic. And Animalia. She said these are some books that she really uh, enjoyed. Oh, so sweet. Thank you, Darshan. Okay, from Elaine in Tennessee. Hey, baby. What you doing? Hey, you want to see a book? Look at this. It's called Edward the Emu. You want to come look at it? Has Daddy been feeding you chocolates? Yeah. You got some chocolate on your face? Look. Chocolate. That's an emu. Emu chocolate. It's being chocolate. Yeah, do you want to read this tonight? Would that be fun? Uh, maybe later. Later? All right, I gotta put you down, Bob. Oh, you're getting heavy. You see the kitty? You go chase Russell around a little bit. Oh my goodness. So from Ricky and Elaine and Elaine makes these really fun heirloom baby clothes. Oh, oh my gosh. There's two. I didn't even see that. So look at this. Look at how precious that is. Oh, and it's so soft. And then this one here. Elaine, they're beautiful. Thank you both. This is from The Days in Oregon. From Rochelle. And from her kids. Oh, this is precious. We love watching your show and we like learning about plants. Love Natalie and Tucker. I love plants. And we love Cheddar and Russell. Hi, Laura, I'm Tucker Day. Um, my mom and my sister have learned a lot. I once was at a garden center called, and it has a petunia and it kind of looks like outer space. Ooh, it's probably night sky or something like that. I think that's what it's called. Isn't that the sweetest thing? Oh. Anyway, um, Rochelle said that her kids wanted to send over a book about bugs, good and bad bugs that they enjoy and that Benjamin's going to enjoy and baby girl when she's a little older. And honestly, I'll probably enjoy it too. <laughs> Love this kind of stuff. Oh yeah. Who doesn't like a reference guide like that? It's awesome. Oh, cute. They're cat cactuses cat or cacti, whatever. <laughs> Love those. Down on the farm playing cards. Oh, that's so cute. And then this really sweet tea towel. Thank you all. This one's also from Canada. Oh my, I think there's a bunch of blank note cards. Oh, yep. Look at these. Oh, these are beautiful. I like the scenery. Thank you, Krista. And Krista took all of these pictures right here, which are beautiful. Oh, love that. And I love that you got your acreage. That is so exciting with the orchard and the berry plants and all of that. I'm so excited for you. I think we should do a couple boxes now. So this one is from Lois in the UK. Oh, look at this. A little pram. Oh, that is so cute. It does say on the outside of the box, box to Laura's baby. Oh, I love that. Thank you, Lois. That will look wonderful on my silver and white tree. I'm going to put it on there today. I've got lots of room on that tree. And from Sarah in Kentucky. Two baby girl. Oh, Sarah, you made these. Oh, look, oh, 
aren't those the sweetest little booties? Oh, they look amazing. Thank you so much. And this one came from Michigan. From Yolanda. We've got a new Santa for the collection. That's fun. Oh. I haven't played with one of these in so long. Okay, I gotta, I gotta work this out here. So we got I think that I'm supposed to be able to make this one drum or hit the drum. I kind of do sometimes. <laughs> That's a fun gift. Thank you, Yolanda. I can just see Benjamin getting this so, so tangled up. I'm gonna have to monitor this one a little bit. These next couple of gifts I opened up a little bit early because the box that this one came in said perishable. And so this came from Sherry and Dan and it's a wonderful basket full of, it's called Savannah's Candy Kitchen, handmade Southern confections, cakes, and candies. So thank you, Sherry and Dan. And then this one right here is from Haley, and I actually got to meet Haley when I went down to the garden center one day, and it was a really fun, it was really fun to get to meet her. It's always fun when I get to run into some of you guys, like in person, because it's so different. You know, it probably seems like I'm super connected or something just because you know, there's a lot, we have a lot of activity going on and, um, you know, we converse with a lot of you guys online, but it's so different to be able to talk with you guys in person. Um, it really, I don't know, it's really encouraging to me. So it was really fun. So Haley made some wood burn ornaments for Benjamin with the car. And a beautiful job too, because wood burning, you think it's going to be easy and it's not as easy as it, as it looks. We've got a beautiful flower tractor for Aaron and or Benjamin and or myself some wood burned earrings snowflakes these are really cute these are little silver flowers I don't know if you'll be able to see that I'm trying not to show my fingernails because they're looking you know as awesome as usual and then a kitchen spoon wood burned right there with a B and then look at the back isn't that so cute and then there's another pair of earrings here. I think I was meant to give one of these pairs to my mom. <laughs> um, and there was a mint truffle bar, which I ate like in front of her. So anyway, thank you Haley again for these beautiful gifts. I just wanted to show them off. Okay, from Monica in Virginia. Ooh, cool. She got Aaron some cord protectors for hooking up cords outside. So the ends that you plug in together, you put in these sleeves. Um, to help keep them safe from water. Oh my goodness, there's so many things in here. There's fairy garden stuff. So there's a couple of kitties, one for Russell, one for Cheddar. I should probably wrap these back up as I go. Otherwise I will have a mess on my hands here. Some urns for fairy garden. A couple of ornaments for the black and gold tree that I, I've got. This is heavy, let's see. Oh my, Ooh. oh, these are fun. These are little walkways for fairy gardens, little roadways and or walkways. There's three of them. Oh, did I show the right side on that one? I think I did. Those are fun. These come in really handy. And then some outfits for baby girl. Oh. Look at that. Oh, that is so sweet so soft oh i love the little headbands i'm so excited for that part oh look at that little onesie and i'm guessing it goes with whoops these pants right here how cute are those oh my goodness look at these with the little ruffle sleeves and little pants to go with them oh that's sweet nice and bright cheery with super cute sunflower pants <laughs> And then each one of them has this little, I I'm guessing this is a headband that you can tie. I'm, I'm not sure how else you would use it, but I'm guessing that's how you use it. <laughs> Thank you, Monica. This one came from, 
I'm guessing UK, right? Because it's labeled in pounds. <laughs> Ooh, some little treats. A dairy milk snowman and a chocolate reindeer. Ooh, this is an ornament. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. One layer has like frosted with snowflakes, glittery snowflakes, and the other two are clear. That's really interesting. And they all like spin independent of each other. How cool. Yes. Oh, these are pretty. Look at these ornaments. Oh, those are gonna pick up light beautifully. Ah. She, she said she included a magazine that she thought the uh, title would be amusing to me. And I learned about this magazine after we started our YouTube channel. Oh, there's some seeds. Oh, that's awesome. It's a UK based magazine called Garden Answers with an S. Oh, create autumn drama. There's some beautiful, there's a beautiful dahlia on the front page. And the seeds are Helianthus, early bird. Ooh, poppy double tangerine gem. That's a beauty. Verbena. Classic. And a, is it Lickness? Likeness, Lickness. So thank you to Carl, Sue, and Holly for all of these goodies. This is from Rhonda in Washington. It is a sweet hooded towel for after bath time. Thank you, Rhonda. This one is from Australia as well. My mercy, so far away. Oh, this is from Angie. This is a book called Still Standing. Thanks for sending it out from Brazil. Whoa. Oh, a wax seal. I always love a wax seal. Love that little extra effort. That is Romancing the Ordinary right there from Renata. Oh my. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is really pretty. It's a little envelope with a little dried flower of some kind held on by a wax seal. Isn't that neat? And it's a bookmark, a beautiful bookmark. Look at this. Oh, thank you, Renata. Boy, that's interesting packaging. I love that. I hope that this video is gonna turn out okay. I keep looking at the screen and from here it looks so dark. And then it brightens up, like the second I look at the screen or a couple seconds afterwards. I don't know what's going on there. Aaron is inside with Benjamin, so he's not monitoring things. Okay. Brooke has made me and uh, my baby matching bracelets. Thank you very much, Brooke. Ah, Georgia. Ooh, truck for Benjamin. Oh, and look at this. It's like a little red riding hood cape. Oh, that's so cute. And little sister jammies. And I think this says it's from the Fernies. Is that right? The Funnies, the Fernies. I'm not sure. Thank you very much. From Beverly in Oklahoma. Whoa, Beverly said she made whatever is in this tissue paper here. Oh, oh, <laughs> look, look at how sweet that is. And look at the back. Oh, that is so cute. She did everything. Like she crocheted even the little uh, flowers and things that are on that. Look at how sweet those are. And some little booties. So Aaron just came out and got the camera fixed, I think. He says that it gets dark and bright because of the sun and the fact that I wear black clothes a lot. <laughs> so I'm sorry if the first part of this video was a little bit tough. Um, but anyway, Beverly, thank you so much for these. So sweet and handmade. I mean, oh, I know what goes into stuff like that. From Margaret in Illinois. Margaret has sent out some face masks. A uh, assortment of different styles. Thank you. And from Rhonda in Canada. Oh my 
my goodness. So she sent out a couple of handmade necklaces, one for me and one for my mom. So this is a silver lily necklace. This one's for my mom. And the next one's called the Love of Gardening Necklace. And this one's for me. Oh, yeah, this is really sweet. Look at that. Thank you, Randa. This one is from Kansas. Ooh, it's something fleece. Oh. Oh, Mickey Mouse. Benjamin's going to love it. He loves Mickey Mouse. Oh, the Mickey Mouse is from Benjamin, or two Benjamin rather, from Harrison, who's three. From Roger, Mandy, and Harrison. And Mandy makes these fleece blankets. Oh, oh, look at that. Can you see the pattern on that? Potted plants, watering cans, wheelbarrows, birdhouses, right up my alley. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm not sure who this one's from. Somebody's looking out for me, I think. It says it's a pot cover red. So is this something you put over your pot to keep it from boiling over? I'm not sure. There's nothing to say exactly what it, what it is, except for I know I recently, um, let's see. I recently boiled a pot of water over in a video and it says it's a pot cover. And I don't see any note from who it is. So anyway, I will look that up when we're done here. Okay, this one is from Daniel in Pennsylvania. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh good, there's a card, good. He said as he enjoyed this book when he was a child. I hope yours will as well. Fun fact, there's a secret in this book. In every painting, there's, a hidden, there's hidden three different things. A cat, a pill boy, pill boy, and the artist's initials. It's called One Wintry Night. Thank you, Daniel. That's really special. Okay, from Belinda in Pennsylvania as well. And Belinda, yes, we did get your hand-drawn Christmas cards. I believe I opened those in the last mail time video. Oh, oh, look at this for Benjamin. John Deere tractor blanket. That's cute, plaid background, blue and green. Oh, he's gonna think that's really cool. Oh, look at this. Oh, great minds think alike. Look at this, this is for baby girl, I'm guessing with the peach uh, polka dot background. And look, it's the same as the last fleece blanket, but this is a really good size for a baby. The other one is a really good size for me. <laughs> Perfect. And then a sweet little elephants and gray and cream. Thank you, Belinda, for sending these out. From Megan in Kentucky. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Oh, Aaron will love that. This is called a pick mate. Holds up to 10 guitar picks. That's awesome. I've never seen one of those before. Aaron will love that. Laura on there, personalized. Three pack bandana bib set. Love above all. Oh, look at this. Look at the bow. Look at the little socks. So cute with the ruffles. Okay, so we've got a onesie with cute little ruffles, sleeveless with Oh, that's so cute. Look at those. And then the back has a little bow and then a bow for her head. My goodness, Megan, you've put a lot in here. Oh, these are fun. These are just little wood, like, I don't, I don't even know what you would call these, but each one of them has a different car on it for Benjamin, like fire trucks, cars, tractors, forklifts. Uh, cranes, that's really cool. This whole thing is full of them. I might be missing something there. It's probably some sort of game I should know about. Feel like looking at them either way. Oh. Look at those. Look at how sweet those are. Oh my goodness. Some sweet little shoes that they match the outfit. Oh, oh fun. This is for me. 
Disney Collection Piano Book. Oh, these are fun because these are easy. Yep. So I can just sit down and play those with Benjamin tonight. That'll be really fun. And sequence for kids. Thank you, Megan. What a fun box full of goodies. Uh, this one's from Illinois, I think. So from Nicholas, who Nicholas was, and Nicholas is really getting into um, gardening. And this is a gift from him, his, in, him and his mom. Um, so this is a body scrub that his mom made right here. And it's made with um, sugar, coconut oil, and sandalwood. Yeah, smells yum. And he, uh, Nicholas, you were wondering about my pink lemonade lemon. It's behind this big stack of boxes. <laughs> it's doing really well. Oh, look at this for Benjamin. Oh, he's going to love that. Oh, this is fun. This is a hat right here. Well, obviously a knit hat that has different pom-poms. So you can switch out which pom-pom you want on top. That's cool. Oh, and he's included some pictures of his plants. He's got a Meyer lemon. Oh, kale, pansies. Really nice looking garden boxes, Nicholas. Just seen a croton. How cool. You're doing a great job. And then there are some books. Elmo loves you. Let's go. It's funny where Ben Ben's train takes him. Isn't that perfect? Thank you, Nicholas, for sending all of this stuff out. It's wonderful. And I'm happy to hear about your garden journey. It's fun that you're learning so much. This one's from Marie in Norway. Oh, look at this. Loved. Isn't that so sweet? Oh, hand embroidered chocolate. Then we've got a book called Klaus Clim Climber Mouse and the Other Animals in the Huckberry Forest. Huck Hucky Bucky Forest. <laughs> That'll be fun. Oh, Marie, thank you so much. I will save the long letter to read a little bit later. Thank you for including this and oh my goodness. Thank you for the gifts. All right, this is from Alicia in California. Okay, so this one's to Benjamin. Got a flashlight, which he'll love. He loves lights, he always has. Like even just regular lights. Like he will find the light switch and turn lights in rooms on and off and on and off until we're like, Benjamin, quit. <laughs> oh, Secrets of the Vegetable Garden, a shine a light book. Oh, shine a light book. Hold the page to the light to see inside the hidden habitats. What? Okay, so, oh, I don't know if I'm able to show you guys this, but this is so cool. So it's talking about tomato seeds. I'm just gonna have to keep it down here. And you shine a light from the back, oops, go for crying out loud, from the back of the page, and it shows you hidden the hidden seeds in the pot. Can you see that? Oh, that's gonna be so fun. The seeds need water and warmth and soil to grow. Birds eating seeds planted in the garden take to the air. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, these jammies have chickens on them. That is cute. And these are burp, burpees is what they call them. Potted plants. That is really cute. Thank you, Alicia. So sweet. Okay guys, I think, oh, I'm stepping on all the packaging. I think I'm just gonna do these last three and then we'll get into this big pile tomorrow because it is getting a, quite a bit darker. I think I've maybe got like 30 minutes or less of light and it's actually the temperature's dropping quite significantly and my nose is starting to run. So we don't want that. This is from Valerie in Manitoba. Oh my goodness. So she has done a gift to Plan International and it says this, you can't feel this gift in your hands and it's not wrapped in a bow, but it's filled with something so much more powerful than your average present, hope. 
This card represents a real life-changing gift that has been purchased in your honor to be given to someone in need. Your gift of hope will help transform lives around the world by reaching vulnerable children and families with a chance to unlock their full potential. Thank you for being part of it. Oh my goodness, that is so sweet. So she said, you know, I'm, I was trying to think of what to get, a soon-to-be, you know, new member of the family, and, you know, we get so many sweet things in mail times that she just thought that this would be a really sweet way to kind of honor that. Um, and a, a gift of endless harvest literally jumped at me, um, like Russell wants some air time. <laughs> that is really special, really special. But there's also some other things in here. So she knitted or crocheted. Does she knit? Knitting. Knitted these cozies for cups. Those are cute. A fern leaf and a flower. Russell, are you getting all up in the wrapping? He's down here in the wrapping by my feet. You're making a ruckus, bud. Oh my. Oh. Antique serving spoons. Look at these. Oh my gosh. My mom was going to be jealous. These are so pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay, so one more thing about this Plan International. Your gift provides families with food for today and essentials for a bountiful uh, garden, quality seeds and tools and training to nurture lush crops. Thank you for all of this, Valerie. Very, very sweet. And this is from Carol in Texas. We've got a Saks Fifth Avenue box. And in it, let me read the note. Oh. Oh, they've sent over an ornament for our nutcracker tree. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, Carol. I'm gonna hang that on the tree this evening. Okay, and then the last box for this evening is from Lorraine in Florida. So there's a couple of bookmarks. And there's a note Lorraine says I can read off camera later. <laughs> so I'll open this right here. It says, surrounded by God's beautiful creations of nature, images and words to bring love, joy, peace, and inspiration. Oh yeah, there's just a bunch of beautiful verses with beautiful pictures, like pictures like this. And Lorraine made this. So that's awesome, thank you so much. And you guys, that is gonna wrap up today's mail time video because of the temperature right now. I can't even believe it. When we started this video a little while ago, it felt warm, like I actually thought that I was feeling a little hot. And now I'm thinking, oh, I've got to get stuff out of here, out of the doorway anyway, so I can close the doors and turn the heater back on for my citrus trees. Um, and then tomorrow, hopefully, we can pick up and open up some of these boxes. This might have to come out in three installments. I'm not really sure. Anyway, you guys are just so generous and so supportive and so wonderful. And we feel truly blessed by you all. Thank you all to, thank you to all of you who sent um, all these things out today that we opened and to all of you watching this video. I hope you're having a great day and a great Christmas season, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.